the check, bitch. And he gave me neck, bitch. Say I'm his best. Hey you guys, my name is Safi Imani. I'm Flasaf on Instagram, Flasaf on Twitter. I'm also Safi Imani on Facebook too. Anyway, welcome to my YouTube. So today on my YouTube channel, I will be giving you guys the ins and outs so far that I've learned being a business owner. Um, before I get into the ins and outs of talking about being a business owner and the things that I have learned, I will be introducing myself a little bit more so you guys know a little bit about me, what I stand for, where I come from, and things like that. So, my name is Safi Imani. I'm 23 years old. To begin, I just graduated college two years ago. Don't let nobody take away when you graduated college. I graduated college. I graduated from Bloomsburg University in 2019 of May. Um, Woohoo! Yep, I've been out of college for since 2019, uh, summertime. So, um, right after college, I went to be a full-time teacher. I teach pre-K counts. I work at Mercy Neighborhood Ministries, in case you ever wanted to send your kids to a good school. Um, we have a really, really good program there, and Monday through Friday from 8 to 4, I am teaching children. Making a difference, you know, I always wanted to be a teacher, and I always wanted to make a difference. Moving forward, I have an online boutique called Posh Fly Girls. Follow us, shop with us, poshflygirls.com, as well as a full-service boutique plus beauty bar. We are located in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, on Broad Street. So if you know about Philly, then you know we're on Broad Street in the Logan area. Um, we are full service for the salon, so I offer, um, well, not I, we offer hair services such as wig installs, lakes installs, natural hair care, ponytails, caps, bobs, whatever, makeup, teeth whitening, lashes, facials, um, Vajay shoes, V stains. Basically, we are a one stop shop. I do lip fillers. Um, um, I have a girl in my shop who do henna. It's just like a whole lot. Um, and also, my boutique is also located in the store so that my customers can come on down. Y'all can shop in store. You can try your clothes on before you leave. You know, you can come get your hair done, get an outfit, and be on the go. So, yep. Also, I also run a full service starting a business. So I help other business owners start their business or I help other business owners keep things that they need to get their business rolling, such as business cards, flyers, logos. I do e-flyers, digital flyers. I mean, not digital. I actually print them out, so I produce them as well. Thank you cards, hang tags, logo tissue paper. Um, I come up with names. I am a very, very, very creative person. Um, actually, everything that I stand for is creativity. You know, just being yourself, letting the wind just take you where you need to go. Um, and it's hard for a lot of people to do that. So me, I'm a boss, I'm a hustler, and I know how to get money. And a lot of other people don't know how to do that. So people come to me for me to help them. I come up with the names. I come up with when you gonna start your business. I come up with how your logo gonna look. I might come up with your whole business vision. I help you come up with everything. I even help people come up with what they're gonna sell. So if you ever need help with a business startup, you don't, you don't know where you need to go. I'm your girl. We do LLC startups, EI information, and I'm very, very affordable. Now that I just laid that all out, there was so much, um, and I also cook, don't forget, I cook. I be whooping it up in the kitchen, everybody know that. So yeah, um, that's everything that I do. And basically, I do everything that I do for me and for my mom. Um, I know that I wanna have a very luxury lifestyle. And I also know that I wouldn't be here today without my mom, my Umi. Um, she really, really want one thing and it's a house. All my life it just been me and her until she had my sisters and she always been talking about how she want a house, how she want a house, how she want a house. So my goal is to get her a house. So everything that I do is to get her a house and also help other people. It don't matter how I'm helping you as long as I'm helping you and I'm making you feel good. It's enriching to me. When I come in my shop and my shop be popping, the girls be booked up, it be girls sitting all over. It don't even be no seats for them to sit at because they be so booked up. And I be so happy because that mean that my girls is making money. That mean that I'm making money. That mean that somebody's leaving out of here with a smile. Somebody boyfriend gonna be like, ooh, babe, you look beautiful today. Shit, I'm gonna be like, boo, you look beautiful today leaving out my shop. Um, 
And yeah, I'm just a happy person and I love to help people. Now, running a business is very, very tedious and it's not for everybody. So, I don't want everybody just to be like, oh my gosh, you can run a business, how you do it so easy, the No, it's not for everybody. You have to literally know, like you have to find your niche in order for you to run a business. Cause I mean, me, I could sell a water to a well, a put, put to a pig, but other people, they don't have that. They don't have that confidence. They don't have that drive. They don't have a pitch. They don't have anything. It's, don't even look at it like I want to start a business. Just look at it like, what am I passionate in? And how can I turn my passion into money? Um, That's the first part of running a business is just finding your niche or finding your passion because if you don't have a passion for it, like if I didn't have a passion for helping other people, if I didn't have a passion for fashion, then I would not be able to run my business. I would not be going through these hardships, these trial and these errors if I didn't have no, no passion for it. Um, the next thing would be um, just being patient, being consistent. They are my top two things that I tell everybody that I tell myself I wake up in the morning time and I be like, damn, why not reach that? And I just think like, okay, it's not my time yet. A lot didn't say mm, she need $100 million in her account yet. So you keep working hard, you keep grinding, but you just really have to stay consistent. Consistence and being patient go hand in hand because you can't want something to just happen overnight. You gotta grind for it, you gotta keep going hard. You have to push yourself. If nobody else push yourself, you have to push yourself. And I have to tell that to myself all the time. I'm one of them people where I see the potential in everybody else, but nobody see the potential in me. And sometimes that discourages me. It make me think like, okay, should I not run a business? Should I not sell what I'm selling? Should I not do what I'm doing? And it's like, take a step back. You're doing this because this is what you love to do. And it's all gonna it's all gonna work out. So consistent. Keep going and keep pushing yourself. Pushing yourself, stay patient. Stay there until you come up to just travel. I wanna get more storefronts. I wanna get House Black House, Black House Mafia. I want us to be global, worldwide. So, it's like, you gotta keep going. You gotta stay consistent. You gotta keep pushing it. But as far as inside of the business, it's tedious. Um, you know how you want your business ran. It's trial and error. You can't give up. You just keep trying, you keep trying, you keep trying until you get a system that you like. That's just it. When I first started, um, I've been talking for like 13 minutes. So overall, I introduced y'all. I told y'all what I was about. I talked to y'all about some ins and outs about having a shop running it. I said that it was tedious um, because you meet so many different people. And especially when this is like your first time, it's it's like, it's so hard. It's not, it's not hard. It's just about finding your system. Once you get a system that works, you are gonna get it. Um, stay, stay patient, stay consistent. Um, when I first started open, I told you I had my friends work in there. I didn't even have regular girls coming to work in my shop. So now it's like I got other girls, they coming to work here. And this is my first time being around other people. So this is my first time even knowing, oh damn, this is how a salon is supposed to get ran or certain things. So just stay patient till you get your system. Stay patient till you come up, stay consistent. Same thing when I say stay consistent with pushing yourself, pushing your business. I need to stay consistent with how I want my business ran. Um, I need to stay consistent with doing certain, like doing certain things in my establishment. So consistency and patience, it just goes. They the gold words: consistency and patience. Um, and that's just it. Other than that, I have so many things to talk to you about, but this video is really, really long. Um, it's really easy opening up a salon, running a business is so so, and that's it. So, I hope you guys like this video. I hope you guys learned a lot. Um, I hope you guys took in what I said. I'm not perfect, I don't expect anyone to be perfect, and I just want y'all to be on my journey with me. So, join this journey with me. I will be back every week. Um, and that's it. Like, comment, and subscribe.